Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. NBA Trade Rumors, Miami Heat in Driver Seat to Trade for Donovan Mitchell? Even after the Cleveland Cavaliers stole Game 2 in Boston in the Eastern Conference semifinals, there's still an overall belief that short of a miraculous run to the Conference Finals or NBA Finals, Donovan Mitchell could very much demand a trade this summer. With just one year left on his contract and no real progression on a contract extension with the Cavs, there's no predicting what will transpire this summer between Cleveland and Mitchell. But with the way this season has gone for Mitchell and the Cavs, Moore would assume that a bidding war via trade is more likely than a contract extension. Again, anything can happen. If Mitchell would demand a trade, though, there may be one team that could be sitting in an early poll position. And that's the Miami Heat. According to a recent report, Mitchell has a strong relationship with Bam Adebayo and would have Miami high on his list of destinations if he were to ask for a trade. Once again, the Heat could enter the offseason in a great position to potentially land a big fish. However, the question remains, does the Heat have enough trade assets to make a competitive enough of an offer? Miami is going to enter the offseason with the desire to make a big upgrade to their roster, but with not much in the way of draft capital and no real premier trade assets that they'd be willing to part ways with, aside from Jamie Jaquez Jr. and Nikola Jovic, there could be a scenario in which the Heat simply don't have enough to get a deal done. And with the uncertainty that surrounds Jimmy Butler's future with the team, the Heat will have plenty to think about and on their plate heading into the offseason. But there's a very real scenario that plays out this offseason in which the Heat has another disgruntled star who wants to play for the team. Last summer, with Damian Lillard and Bradley Beal, they weren't able to cement the deals. Can the Heat pull off a deal this time around? In theory, a trio of Mitchell, Jimmy, and Bam would emerge as a favorite in the Eastern Conference heading into next season. Although, it may be too much of a pipe dream to ever see it come to fruition. Heat News, Jimmy Butler wants to finish NBA career with Miami, then play overseas. After a surprising trip to the NBA Finals a season ago, the Miami Heat entered this season looking to get back once again. It was the second time in four seasons that Miami had made the NBA Finals. They came up short in both instances. Despite all the talent on the team, the Heat just haven't been able to get over the hump to hoist up the Larry O'Brien Trophy, and it has caused frustration around the organization. This current version of Miami has always done things the tough way, with star swingman Jimmy Butler leading the charge. They embrace any challenge ahead of them, including being the underdogs. But after Butler was hurt during the team's first play-in game this season, Miami was essentially done for. The Heat ended up being eliminated from the postseason in a five-game first-round loss to the Boston Celtics, leaving many questions left open to be answered. This includes the fate of Butler, who still has two seasons left on his current contract, including a player option. But Butler wants more guaranteed years, something that Miami may not be inclined to do. After all, Butler will turn 35 years old later this year. But his impact on the organization can't be overstated. Both sides still seem to love one another. Butler opened up about his future basketball plans to Rohan Nadnarki of GQ Sports. His goal is to finish his career with the Heat, something that looks very attainable at this time. Butler is still a core piece to what the Heat want to do, even if they may not be willing to give him a new max-level contract. But after he is finished with the NBA, playing overseas is something he is open to. I mean, yeah. In the NBA? For sure, Butler said. But then after that, I really do want to play for Flamengo, Club de Regatas do Flamengo in Rio de Janeiro. I tell everybody, I'm half Brazilian. Butler has always done things differently and has been proud of it. It's what has made him who is he today and the Heat organization is thankful for it. He has helped them reach two NBA finals and is hoping to finally get the job done before he hangs it up. I feel at home, man, Butler continued. I really care about the city, 
I really care about the people in this city. Miami has embraced me. They've wanted me to bring them something they haven't done since LeBron, D. Wade, and C. Bosch. And I want to do that. So as soon as I get this knee back right, I'm right back on they ass, and everybody know it. It remains to be seen if Butler will help the Heat win another championship, but he will go down swinging, if anything. It's in his nature and the city of Miami has embraced his fighter mentality throughout when it comes to the Heat. Shaquille O'Neal explains why all of his teammates' wives used to hate him during his run with the Heat. In a recent appearance on The Old Man and the Three, Shaquille O'Neal revealed why he became the biggest enemy of his teammates' families. Apparently, according to Shaq, he had a no-fly rule when it came to women and children on the plane and he enforced it in full authority when he first arrived to play for the Heat. When I go to an organization, I don't give a f, who there, I'm in charge, O'Neal said. Like for example, when I first got to Miami, wives could travel on a plane. No, the f asterisk ck they cannot. No, they're not. This sh asterisk t is done with. No wife, no kids on the plane ever. Unless we make it to the finals, and then they can come to games 3, 4, 5, and 6. All the wives hated me, but that's okay. You're not traveling. I'm in charge now. As one of the greatest big men in NBA history, Shaq's thirst for dominance manifested in more ways than on the basketball court. All throughout his career, whether it was on the Magic, Lakers, or Miami Heat, O'Neal was the alpha dog and he carried himself like one. When O'Neal joined the Heat in 2004, with his best days already behind him, he made his presence felt right away and he took control of the locker room with an iron grip. Nobody knows for sure why Shaq banned women and children from traveling on the plane for games, but one can only imagine that he wanted his teammates to avoid all potential distractions in order to lock into the mission at hand. Whatever the case, Shaq was not afraid to lay down the law and set a certain standard for his teammates that he felt was the best suited for success. As a 4X champion, 15X All-Star, NBA MVP, and 2X scoring leader, it's hard to argue with the results but it's no secret that O'Neal's tactics are considered questionable, at best. While the Diesel is most known for his powerful dunks and unstoppable game, he is also somewhat infamous for his antics as a teammate. Besides his well-documented rivalry with Kobe Bryant, O'Neal has a history of antagonizing those within his own locker room. As a lifelong jokester-slash-prankster, Shaq often likes to have fun at his teammates' expense and his tricks have become notorious for being cruel and gross. In perhaps his most cruel act of all, he used to douse rookies in a bucket of his own urine as a nightmarish rite of passage. He also apparently peed in the shoes of one of his teammates on the Suns. Back in 2023, he admitted to regularly tackling a Cavaliers trainer as a prank during practices throughout the season. He also ruthlessly got his teammate traded after he demanded $50,000 for the 33-foot jersey number. For a guy as great and dominant as Shaquille O'Neal, it makes sense that his personality is just as big. And while his presence was too much for some to handle, those who stuck around were rewarded with success beyond their wild dreams. In the end, Shaq had control because he earned it, and he was one of the few superstars who wasn't afraid to exercise his full authority in any situation. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Shaquille O'Neal? Leave your opinion in the comments.